Hi guys, welcome back to another what I eat in a day video. As always, gonna be showing you everything I eat in a day, still doing the intermittent fasting game. Uh, basically, I start eating at 12 just kind of to cut down on calories, but I'll link to some previous uh, what I eat in a day is down below if you're looking for more ideas or to kind of see the progression because I wasn't always doing it this way, but that's what I've found to be the most easy, but I've found to be the most easy lately if that makes sense. Anyways, uh, this morning I did have an espresso or I guess an Americano. I've been doing that lately because I was drinking espresso with like a splash of milk and I kind of missed like the coffee and it lasting a little bit longer. So I just add some hot water to it and a little bit of almond milk. So I have that first thing in the morning. It is now just after 12 and I'm having a chicken salad sandwich for lunch. <laughs> really craving that lately. So uh, I'll show you how I do it. So here is the setup. I poached some chicken, which I've never done before. This is actually gonna be uh, for two servings. So I poached some chicken and then I plan to put in red onion, celery, and grapes into the mix. I'm gonna be using a combination of Greek yogurt and Miracle Whip with a little bit of lemon juice and salt and pepper in the mix. For my bun, I'm using this. It's actually a burger bun. It's just Dempster's deluxe the gold bun 170 calories a serving uh, and then on the side i'm going to be having these mini peppers which i've been eating a lot lately along with cucumber as my side to kind of help get some more veg in so basically i'm just going to mix all this together oh and i'm also going to have a pickle pickles are such a good oh that's the french side like last night i just had a pickle as like a snack because i wanted something salty and although they're full of salt they're very low calorie so consider that if you're uh, if you're not doing that so anyways i'm just going to mix all of this together So here's the finished product. I toasted the bun for like two minutes. If you're looking to like cut carbs or anything, you can always put this like on a bed of lettuce and serve it as a salad, but I am not. Instead, I choose to portion control so that I can eat what I want uh, within reason. So I'm gonna be having this for my lunch and it actually makes a ton. I probably could have split it into three portions, but because I like to have a lot of volume in my meals, like make it feel like I'm eating quite a bit, even like to keep the calories down, but still not feel like I'm only eating like two bites of food. Uh, I decided to keep the portion of the chicken a little bit bigger. It is boneless, skinless chicken breast, so very um, low calorie, high protein, low fat, so a really nice kind of balance there. And as I've said before, I do use my fitness pal to calculate everything and a food scale. It takes a little bit of time, but Again, as I said before, if you're looking to lose weight or make a change, you do need to like make a change in the way that you do things. Everything can't stay the same because then your body weight will stay the same. So uh, over time also you kind of learn what a portion size looks like. Like last week, I don't think I counted at all because I was just kind of annoyed with it. And I, I would say ate intuitively, which is something I would have never been able to do before because I didn't know how much I should be eating and I overate. So I might have overeaten a little bit. I don't know, I don't particularly care, but just took a little break from it, but now I'm back on it. But I feel like I had a better idea of how much I should be eating because I have been tracking for some time now and it feels more maintainable with the occasional break. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this for my lunch. I also should have said earlier, I try to explain the decisions I make and I didn't explain why I use Greek yogurt. So Greek yogurt, again, low in fat, high in protein, but I don't want to use only Greek yogurt because then it won't taste like a chicken salad sandwich. So kind of find that compromise and use both mayonnaise and Greek yogurt to balance it out because I mean, like if I could, I would use all mayo, but instead I use a light mayo and cut it with the Greek yogurt, which I use as like a sour cream substitute as well, but it's just like a nice kind of creamy. There's no like added sugar. It's not vanilla flavor. Make sure you get like regular or plain flavored Greek yogurt because it's super thick and reminds me of like the restaurant style sour cream but it has essentially no fat in it and is really high in protein as well if you're not looking to you're looking to add protein in a not meat format so anyways uh, this is lunch so I was feeling like a little snack and I just picked up a couple of treats to have this in total uh, I just finished weighing it all is about 150 calories so really really recommend this snack no just kidding <laughs> this is actually what I'm having but um, my friend lives in Sweden I'm sending her a care package so I just went and picked up a bunch of stuff <laughs> some of our favorites Miss Vicky salt and vinegar these are like some popular Canadian treats smarties here are different than smarties in the u.s they're like rockets is what we consider um their smarties and these are our smarties they're chocolate nestle makes amazing chocolate and cadbury too and you have reese's are in the states i think yeah it says nhl on it 
maple syrup a classic anyways i shouldn't be showing you this if you're watching a what i eat in a day to lose weight <laughs> it's taunting me too so i want you to suffer as well <laughs> so this is what i'm gonna have i actually was craving uh guacamole and chips and yes of course you could have guacamole with like celery but that's not me i'm gonna have tortilla chips i just picked these up from the store and i actually found an avocado that seems mostly ready it's currently april in canada so still dicey times so i'm just gonna mix this up and i'll show you it um when it's done because yeah it's like a little bit in higher calorie but it's what i want to eat so i'm gonna eat it and that's the beauty of portion control is you can still have what you want you might just need to like for example after lunch i didn't have any snacks sometimes i'll have like a sweet treat and i didn't and now i'm gonna be like cool i'm gonna have tortilla chips now and like some days you'll go over and some days you won't it's fine for me it's consistency not like extremes if that makes sense so the more consistent i am the better results i see over like you know really really starving myself for three days and then binging like crazy for three days and then it just totally out like outdoes everything that you've done uh anyways yeah i'm gonna make this be right back so we'll call this like an avocado dip perhaps because i tried to bulk it up to make more but then i realized i really don't have that many chips like this is 250 calories worth of chips when you weigh chips it really really puts things in perspective but anyways 50 grams of avocado here and then i added about a tablespoon tablespoon and a half of greek yogurt to bulk it up along with tomato onion cilantro lemon juice salt pepper and garlic so I think I actually might even have a little bit too much for my chip to guac ratio, but I'm gonna have this and I'm also having a Where did I put it mini uh, coke zero and I'll probably have some water as well So this is going to be my afternoon snack Having some fruit for a little snack here. I haven't really had any fruit today besides like the three grapes that went into my chicken salad So got some strawberries and plums. I think these are yellow plums or golden plums I bought them last week and they're basically still not ripe, but I'm going to eat it anyways. I think black plums are generally the ones that I like, or they just are not very good. Um, that's the annoying thing about fruit in Canada is like sometimes it's amazing and then sometimes it's horrible. But anyways, that's my cat, by the way, not a baby being hurt. Root! Um, it's her dinner time too. So anyways, uh, this is going to be my snack. <laughs> God, right. It is Christmas come early for dinner time. I got inspired because I was wandering around Whole Foods. Uh, I took off my nails, by the way. I kind of forgot I was filming. But I was in a different neighborhood that had a Whole Foods, which I always love to explore, the grocery store. And I found this Gardein stuffed turkey herb thing kind of roll. Uh, it is vegan. Is it vegan? At the very least, it's vegetarian. Uh, plant protein, yeah, vegan, and it's kind of like a turk, like it just like tastes like Christmas, basically is what it is. So, uh, I made some mashed potatoes. I just meal prepped them, so I have one serving of mashed potatoes left. I had a serving last night. That way, I just cook it all at once, split it into thirds, and eat it as I want it. I've got some green peas. This gravy came with it. This will probably divide the masses, but it's uh, cranberry, like jellied cranberry. And growing up, I always had this, so I really love it. I know it's not for everybody. Some people want to make like bougie homemade stuff other people probably just hate it in general i love the jellied stuff it is not low in calories by any means so it's like basically just sugar so i just have a tiny bit there but i gotta say this is quite good it's more like stuffing than it is turkey-ish but really good the only thing i will say and i mean this is whole foods and canada but this costs eight dollars there's only two servings in here so maybe more for a special occasion or i mean this for me i'll get two meals out of it so it's not horrible but i mean it's by no means cheap but again canadian dollar whole foods not exactly a great combination for money saved but anyways this is gonna be my dinner tonight oh and i meant to mention i was feeling super snacky and had one of these about two hours ago they're from the brand good north which is canadian and i tried one of their ice creams i think and i really didn't like it so i didn't have high hopes for this but this is the um birthday cake flavor of their ice cream bars and i really like this if you like the flavor of like birthday cake type products that have like kind of icing and sprinkles and stuff in there gotta say i was really impressed with this i got this at loblaws but probably available in walmart and whatnot i didn't see it at walmart grocery delivery yet but i was in a loblaws and picked this up so had that earlier but yeah this is what i'm gonna have for dinner not sure if i'm gonna have a sweet treat at the end of the evening uh or not so probably though uh stay tuned for that but pretty pretty excited about this so i did end up having a bit of a sweet treat i had two of these mini kit kat bars or if you can hear video games in the background but um 60 calories each i absolutely love oh my god 
Could that be any louder? Sir? Sir! Sir! Some of us are trying to make a living here. Um, yeah, I do those mini Kit Kat bars. I love the mini chocolate bars. They've saved my life. Sometimes I like go to town and eat a whole bunch, but other times I only have the appropriate amount and they really just satisfy that craving. And I, uh, like I said, I order it all from Walmart. But anyways, that is the end of what I ate in a day. A lot of delicious food today, I gotta say. But I will have a playlist linked down below if you'd like to see more of these. I know for me, whenever I come across a what I eat in a day, I always watch like every single one that the person has. I think I've said that before, but I just love watching them. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.